We are here now at the Canada booth, to be more precise, at the Quebec part of the of that booth and um, we are having a look at the game Foundations and I am here with the developers of Foundations. To be more precise, you are? I'm uh, Philip. I'm the creative director and programmer on the project. Hi, I'm Leo. I'm uh, the technical director of uh, Polymorph Games. Okay, so uh, the game has been secret until uh, shortly before the games come, so uh, there isn't much known to be yet. Um, but we are seeing uh, that uh, we have an, uh, um, some kind of village that we see here. Uh, what is it about? Yeah, okay, the game is called Foundation. It's a, a city builder set in the medieval era. And uh, we, uh, that puts emphasis on the organic looks of the medieval cities. So uh, in the Foundation, the difference between uh, other medieval city builders is that there are no construction grid on it. So we found that uh, the existing uh, city builders uh, look very square, squarish, uh, and uh, we so we decided that we want uh, to remove that and uh, be able to create uh, organic cities. Um, and now we are going to have a look on uh, how this is going to feel in the game. Um, what can you show us? Yeah. Okay. So in Foundation, you you play the Lord of the Village, and you are responsible to build a settlement and a, a thriving village. So uh, you will uh, need to uh, manage your villagers, and uh, as the Lord, you uh, you place the public buildings in the game, but you also um, uh, paint development zone. So when I s I told you that uh, we remove the construction grid, we replace it with a new mechanics that is the painting zone. So you, uh, as the Lord, you can decide where you want the player to, uh, for instance, this here, it's a residential area. And you can tell, okay, you're a villager, you can develop your housing there. So the villager, they will build their, their houses themselves. So you do not place the buildings yourself, but uh, just have areas where they can be placed by uh, non-player characters. In fact, there is both. Uh, in, as the Lord, you can place all the public buildings, but uh, the housing uh, will be uh, placed by the villager themselves. And the villager, it's important to, uh, to attract them. So we have uh, here a, a desirability layer, for instance, and they will get attracted by some point of interest. For instance, here in the middle, we have the, the village center. So it, this will create a, an area of uh, attractability. And uh, also you can see that near the roads, they will tend to, uh, to be attracted there, and so they will build along the roads. We are also in foundation, uh, the roads they are not placed by the player, but instead they are traced by uh, the villager when they walk on the ground. So at the start of the games, there is no roads, and you will start to see roads appear uh, once they walk uh, on the ground. Good that there are no traffic jams in the medieval due to the lack of cars. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so, uh, also, um, as the Lord, we want, we want the game to be uh, um, a tool for the player to, to make a unique village. So, uh, there is a, a monument construction mechanics. So, each uh, uh, monument you make is unique. So, instead of, uh, for instance, uh, in classical city builder, if you want to place a church, there's one model, you place it there and it all looks the same. There is not such, no such thing in foundation. When you want to build a church, instead of placing the building, you uh, assemble it with building parts. So that's an important uh, uh, mechanics in foundation. So each uh, monument you create is uh, unique. Okay, can you show that? Of course. So here we have uh, we already have a church, but let's say uh, we are in a very pious uh, village, so we're gonna build another one. So here uh, I'm gonna place uh, the, a church construction site. For the purpose of the demo, everything uh, is, uh, is uh, free when I, there's no cost uh, of resources, for instance. Uh, so I'm, I'm able to build the, the, the monument I, 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 I would like. So, uh, as I said, the game is uh, pre-alpha. So the UI here is uh, very uh, <laughs> basic. Uh, so that's not very really, well, uh, it's temporary. So here I decided to place a church core here. Um, Oops, sorry. Um, if I can rotate it here, so let's say I place it there, then I can decide uh, to add building parts. So let's add a tower uh, that will snap here. 
also I have the control on uh, the height of the tower, so I can say okay, this one like that looks great. I will add a second tower because I like towers. So let's put it here. All right. Whoops. All right. So then I can add uh, some extension to it. Like this. Um, it's hard for you to reach the keys. You can also rotate it because we have the image here. OK. Thank you. So let's say I add an extension here, like that. Here we go. Uh, add the door. And then I can add uh, some decoration, like crosses, here. Are these decorations, uh, as you said, decorations, or do they have effects? They will have effect in the game. So they, they will have a prestigious effect. They will be, uh, it's, it's not all settled then, but there will be an advantage to create a more prestigious church. But the player could uh, decide to create a, a more basic one if, if he wants. Um, of course, it's uh, probably costing resources, right? So it's always exactly. a trade on how much uh, you want. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, as I said earlier, there will be building parts sets. So uh, maybe the, the player will, can find some uh, unique building parts sets from blueprints they, they can maybe find from trading with other village. So here, let's say uh, I'm satisfied with this design. Also note that we can skin the church, change the look of it. So uh, if I, I can choose here. Eventually, there will be uh, ways to change the architecture also of a... Uh, but the skill probably doesn't have an effect on gameplay, did so, Sorry? But the, but the skin will probably not have an effect on gameplay, will it? No, it's only for decoration purpose. So this is for the monument uh, building and mechanics. Uh, note that uh, when I said that there is no construction grid uh, in foundation, it's important to know that we want the player to be able to build er uh, everything he wants uh, everywhere. So if you want, you, you could uh, build uh, your church here and uh, the, the villager will uh, find a way to get there. And uh, so you can really create uh, the uh, original cities uh, that uh, look like what you have in mind. Apart from um, the special mechanics of creating, um, is, there, is there something special about the rest? Like how does the resource system work or currency system? Yes. Um, so there will be an economic system in the uh, foundation. Um, we have to know that uh, it's a, we, we want it to be a, a kind of a storytelling um, game where uh, the villager have a uh, name, uh, age and personality and you can also assign them the, their uh, job. So uh, and there will be a, eventually there will be a progression in the job. So if you want, for instance, someone can become a craftsman, uh, a worker, a uh, builder, a prestigious builder for instance, and he will have uh, higher needs because he's a more qualified worker, he will want more uh, resources, let's say wine or beer, uh, some things like that. So as the game will progress, you will need to find more specialized resources. For that, you can uh, produce them or you will uh, trade with other villages to get what uh, you want. Maybe if you want, uh, I can show you uh, as the start of the game to, sh to show a, a progression of uh, of uh, a start of the game, would you like that? Yes. Okay. So. Okay, so that's a built-in uh, game editor. Yes, <laughs> it's uh, the, the engine is called Hurricane. <laughs> it's made by uh, mainly by our technical director Leo, um, and we like. Uh, nice technology so we want this engine to be specialized in building uh, city builders and having uh, our own tools but also uh, we want uh, those tools to be available eventually to the players so they can add new contents in the game it's very important to us for instance if they want to create their own building part they can do it and, and it's, 
uh, add them to the game and build uh, their own monuments. Uh, the, and eventually we want also uh, to them to be able to script events or add jobs. Uh, so modding will be a, a possibility. So now for the start of the game, uh, the first building I need to put is the village center. This will make spawn uh, the first uh, villager. Uh, then I can add uh, some uh, other building, like for instance woodcutter cam. Wood is uh, very important early in the game because it's uh, the, the basic construction resources. So uh, now uh, my basic villi villager, if I go here, I can assign them jobs. So let's say Mathieu here, I want him to be a woodcutter as well as Kathleen. So. So is this going to stay that there's, um, because that looks like there's a lot of uh, micromanagement going on, is this um, uh, planned and is this going to stay? Well, we haven't figured out uh, the, how this will uh, uh, work uh, in the final game because uh, once you will have many villagers, uh, we, we may have, uh, we may think about a way to, for instance, uh, have them uh, have a default job and then eventually uh, you can override this job by um, spe specializing uh, your worker. But the game is, we, we really want it to be accessible for player, so we want micromanagement to be limited, and uh, uh, so to create a more uh, accessible experience uh, for the player to enjoy. So unfortunately we are already uh, running out of time, but um, Maybe you can show us uh, or tell us um, what resources are we actually going to have besides wood, of course, we just saw that. Yeah, uh, there will be, uh, there will be uh, many kinds of resources, like a uh, uh, resource to build some stuff, also some uh, food uh, and kind of luxury resources. You will have also blueprints to find uh, new architecture elements. So that's all uh, the kind of um, of uh, resources that you will have. And also, I haven't talked about it, but as the Lord, you will need to uh, deal with uh, the, 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 the king and, uh, and the court, and also the clergy. So uh, th those will add the special events in the game. So th for instance, the, the king can, uh, may ask you for special quests, so you need to give him special resources. Uh, so in exchange he will be uh, happy towards you and you can then have uh, uh, him help you uh, with some uh, new, new elements. Or you go, go to war with the king and become independent. Yes, <laughs> maybe for an expansion, who knows. <laughs> okay, um, is there anything where you'd say we haven't covered that yet, uh, that's a must show for this video we are currently recording. Um, I'm sorry? Is there something which you say but you haven't showed us yet what we should really uh, really see before we uh, end this video? Uh, in the, for the game right now, uh, well I, I think that the, the, the building of uh, monuments is uh, the, the feature that is uh, very uh, the most uh, achieved right now and also the evolution of the village. So, for now, you are you pretty much have uh, the, a good uh, preview of uh, what the game has to offer uh, at that point. Okay. Um, well, then I would like to thank you very much uh, for your time and for your interview. We are, of course, very curious what's going to happen with the game. Um, when are you going to release it to the public? For now, we are looking for uh, funding the game, so we m are planning to uh, do a Kickstarter maybe this fall, and we would like the game to be out in uh, spring, uh, not in, in 2018, and there will be of course an early access uh, during the next year. So you do have a lot of time uh, for major improvements and um, we are of course very curious on how this game is going to develop and uh, to eventually get our hands on it. Um, and my last final obligatory question is of course uh, may we record the, uh, may we publish our game recording and this interview? Of course uh, we will be uh, happy to, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.